YXBA is back, and I'm ready to mash some more buttons. Today I want to give a little update on everyone's favorite open source low-level API known as Vulkan. So what is Vulkan again, and why should you care as a Nintendo fan? Well, to understand Vulkan, you must first understand what an API is. An API is basically a set of tools and specifications for building software applications, or in this case specifically, building video games. To make it a little simpler, every gaming platform has an API, otherwise it would be a rotten mess trying to build games for a specific platform. For example, Windows has a popular API that I'm sure most of you have heard of called DirectX 12, which just happens to be made by Microsoft. Recently, they have provided support for it on both the Xbox One and Windows, which makes it relatively pain-free to port games from the Xbox to PC and vice versa. Don't get me wrong, DirectX 12 is a very powerful low-level API, but its main problem is that it doesn't play well with others. You see, as of right now, it's only supported on a small number of video cards and only supported on Xbox and Windows. Vulkan API is similarly powerful, but the major advantage is that it's open to many different platforms. And that's where Nintendo NX comes in. Nintendo has been one of many companies supporting Vulcan for some time now, and many leaks and rumors have suggested that Vulcan will indeed be supported on the Nintendo NX. The great thing about Vulcan is that it has many friends and not just Nintendo. Valve, AMD, and Android are three of the most important backers of Vulcan API aside from of course Nintendo. Assuming for a minute that both the NX handheld and console will support Vulkan, Android being on board is pretty big because it will likely mean that a lot of smaller indie games and other smaller games from major studios will get ported to Nintendo platforms and I could see you know a lot of uh, like Square Enix has a tendency to make a lot of handheld uh, RPGs either brand new RPGs or remaking classics and when you give them the opportunity to put a game on all of Android and on Nintendo platforms and it's very easy to port the games uh, between them that becomes a very enticing business proposition for them um, so you know it's good sometimes to work together with other platforms for a mutual benefit and one thing you need to keep in mind though it's not that supporting Vulkan is gonna make it as easy as snapping your fingers to port a game from one platform to another but it will certainly be a lot easier and cheaper than porting from a different API such as DirectX 12 to a custom proprietary API that Nintendo could have opted for uh, conversely. Valve being on board is also a really really big deal and as much as I'd like to see games like Half-Life on Nintendo platforms that's not really why Valve is such a big deal here. They do have some really good game franchises and they're really good at making games, but the bigger picture here is that they are the creators of Steam OS, which is basically a console operating system, but you can basically build your own console for it. And as that platform matures, you can bet there's going to be a lot of games coming to the platform, games that are supporting Vulkan, and those games will be pretty easy to port to Nintendo platforms because they're working together with Valve on Vulkan. So Vulkan API, just to let you know, is actually pretty new. Um, it only launched about 10 days ago, so as of this moment there isn't a ton of games. Actually there's only one really significant game that I'm aware of that, that does make use of it, but it's uh, the brand new Doom game by id Software. And one of the nice things about the announcement was they actually showed it off 
running on an NVIDIA 1080 GPU, which means that not only AMD, which was pretty much the first backer of Vulkan, but NVIDIA will be supporting it as well, which again, the more video cards, the more platforms that are popular that support this, the more games it's going to get and the more it's going to lead to Nintendo benefiting from this and you as the Nintendo fan benefiting from it a little bit more directly in that you're going to get more games on Nintendo platforms. Right now the API is looking really really solid and could end up being a key element to Nintendo getting cross-platform games back onto their platforms and hopefully this time it's for good. This has been Colin Unger reminding you to keep your thumbs glued to YXBA and always remember to select start. If you enjoyed this video, click like and subscribe.